Hey y'all, welcome to today's workout. We have a jump rope hit Sabato workout today. So all you're going to need is either a pair of cordless jump ropes or a single jump rope if you've got it. If you don't, no big deal. Just use your wrist. You can fake it. Um, we have nine moves that we're gonna go through. We're 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna go through it three times. We've got a total of three rounds of these moves. All it is is body weight today, jump rope today. We're moving through different jump rope movements, um, different moves that are going to mimic a boxing style workout. So get what you need. Take a sip really quick. I will fix you guys down with a little wonky. Oh, that, that better? Maybe. Okay. Something about y'all feeling a little wonky, but okay. So the first move we're gonna go into is just a basic jump. I'm going to set our body timer. We've got 10 seconds. Flicking our wrist, going for that jump first. Ready? In four, three, two, basic jump, go. We are light on our toes. Our shoulders are rolled down and back. Our eyes are forward and we are flicking those wrists. You wanna make sure that for today's workout you have a really good pair of shoes on. That's why I always, you always see me wear my Skechers because they are like my best shoes for any kind of jumping movement. We have 15 seconds left. Just gonna breathe here. Control your breathing and you'll have no problem with this workout. In four, we're going down to push up. All right, so you're taking your hands as we normally do out from your chest. Let your bra line, shoulders roll down and back, and we're pushing up into a straight line, keeping everything tight. Look, 45 seconds here. So you have to drop to your knees. You can do it. Just make sure your feet stay grounded and your hips stay in front of those knees. If you're with me, you know we're feeling it. You have to alternate. Do a couple on your knees and on your feet. Do that. In 10 seconds, we're going back into our jump rope. Oh, 45 seconds of push up hard. All right, we're going back into our jump rope, but we're gonna do a jack feet. So you're jumping, jack feet, out and in, okay? In four, jack feet, go. Out, in, out, in. So it's the same as a basic jump. You're just taking your feet out and in as though you were doing like a jumping jack but your arms are still rotating. You just broke. And sometimes I get confused and I do a double like that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. A lot of jump rope is a brain and mind body connection thing, which I don't really have. I'm trying to see what we have after this. I can't see. You have four seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're going into bicycles. So we're coming down to the ground on your back. Your feet, your, excuse me, your knees over your hips. Your fingertips at your ears. Crunch it up and rotate that elbow to the opposite knee. Keep a steady pace here. You don't have to go like tremendously fast. Just want you to keep a steady pace. You're constantly moving, okay? You can point your toe. You can flex your toe. I don't really care. Just breathe. Crunch and twist. Really twist. It's like you're trying to get that opposite shoulder. You won't. 
but you're trying to get that opposite shoulder to that knee. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're coming back up. We have jump rope butt kicks. So, you're jumping your rope, but you're bringing your heel up to your butt. Let's go. Really working, opening your quads. I have to watch this bra, guys. I always feel like, so I've worn this bra twice now, and it is the lower support bra. And I'm a small chested girl, okay? But you feel like my top hat is gonna pop out. 15 seconds. Breathe here. I know this one is straight cardio. In five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, we're going to a front punch. So, you're going to stand one leg slightly back, and you're just punching straight in front of your eyes, okay? Two, one. Crouch down a little, bend your knees. You're on the toe of the leg that's back slightly. And you're just making a fist, keeping your thumb tucked. Don't hit tight your thumbs here. Punching straight out in front of your eyes. And then your fist comes back to protect your chin every time. 10 seconds, 10. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, now we are going for high knees. So, a little bit opposite of what we just did. You're still jumping, but you're bringing those knees up in the front. Let's go. So kind of wonderful. Oops, I hit the wall. Sorry. Don't tell us anymore. <laughs> 30 seconds. Keep going, guys. Just breathe here. Today we are moving it. Yes. Well, let me some good jump rope. I can't use a regular jump rope. I stumble. I used to. I used to be able to jump rope really good. We did it in school. And now, damn, I don't know, I have to use cordless. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to alternating knees. So, you'll stand here. You're taking one knee up, pulling your hands down to the opposite hip, go. When you pull that knee up, try to point your toe. It'll give you more power, okay? You have to do a little step back before you pop that knee up, gives you more power. Woo! This is what I'm talking about, y'all. Ten seconds left. 
And then we're done with round one. We're going back into our basic jumps. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I will take a quick sip. We're on to our basic jumps. Thursdays, make it all about that booty. <laughs> Tushy 
very safe. And eight, four, three, two, one. Ooh, what we got? Our front punches. Yep. Front punches, guys. Remember, one foot back, one foot forward. Bend your knees. Fist is up. Punch it out straight. Breathe. You really have prior knowledge of boxing. Use your feet. Twist through your core. If you don't, just stay solely with your hands. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going into our high knee. Woo! Oh, kill it. I'm so proud of you. All right. High knees. I'm gonna untangle my jump rope. Ready? Pick them up. Pick them up, run it out. Run it out. There you go. Turn where you can see me. So you have a better idea. Keep your spine straight. Lift with your lower abs to really try to pick those legs up. You have 10 seconds. And one. Woo! All right. You've got your alternating front knees. I'm gonna reset you guys real quick. Alternating front knees, go. Remember, if you step back, gives you a little bit ooh, more power. That knee comes up, really exhale. We're on the with round two. Ten seconds. What you got? Uh, boxer steps. Woo, deep breath. Okay. Boxer steps. And then we're going into our round three. Our last round. Ready? Light on your toes. Jumping from foot to foot. Light bounce. Just bouncing it out. It's like a little mini active recovery. Heart rate is steady and it's high. Feeling good. Got one more round. Nine more moves. Less than 10 more minutes of this workout. You're welcome. <laughs> this is kind of a shorty. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Before we head into our final round, I'm going into that basic bounce. Ready? Woo! Basic bounce, go. Currently, my mind is just focusing on girl. You have 45 seconds left to push up, and then that's it. <laughs> so, I am trying to get over it. That fast. Ooh. Right. Hey, push ups. I've never been push ups, pull ups. I can do like a solid 10, I call it a day. My upper body strength is just not there. 
But you know what that means? We should work at it more. <laughs> Two, one, down for push up. That's what that really means. I'm just full head. Deep breath, y'all. Last set of push up. I know, 
I'm getting winded. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're going back to our high knees. We just have a couple moves left. Three, back. So good job. High knees. Run it out. Big breath. Y'all know how hard it is to talk and especially do this, like run and stuff. So hard, so hard. Okay, look, we have 20 seconds left, less than that. I want you to really push within your own limits for these final 10 seconds and go as hard as you can and run it out faster, ready? Go, pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Come on, guys, in five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, going back to our front uh, alternating knees. Oh, deep breath there. Felt good, right? All right, ready? Alternating knees. You are twisting, rotating that core, taking that, those hands to that opposite hip and powering that knee up, which is working those lower abs. So obliques, lower abdominals, cardio, all of it. Three, two, one. All of it's getting worked in that. Woo! Less than, less than 30 minutes and I've already burned almost 300 calories. Last move is our jack seat. This is our last move. Push it. Ready? Wait, no, it's our boxer's balance. I'm sorry, it's our boxer's step. Hop one foot to the other. Just try to speed it up. I would say this is one of our easier moves but it's our last move, okay? So for these final 30 seconds, just try to go a little bit faster. Just try to push a little bit harder. This is your last move, the end of your workout. This is gonna be it. Once you're done with this, you can lay it on the floor, you can do your stretches. You can do whatever you want, <laughs> okay? <sighs> Breathe it out. Breathe it out. Three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Woo! So proud of you. So proud of you. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for another awesome workout. We finished. That took us under 30 minutes. So, but that was such a great workout and really fun. I hope you like. You guys liked it. If you want to see more like that, send me your suggestions. You can do that directly through my app. There's a button at the bottom when you're on my profile. Send me suggestions. You can also directly message me. So if you have any comments, feedback, I'm always open to hearing those. Um, I do reply back. So yeah, you know, have that, have that discussion with me. I am happy to see what the overall opinions are and kind of help to tailor more towards what you guys are wanting to see. So thanks for joining in and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.